this was February 26th. And I know because it was the day after my mom's birthday, I was heading to the country. And as I was driving, uh, I ended up stopping my car. My daughter was one years old. And uh, I, wa- I went into one of the stores to get something. And when I came back out, like a dumbass, I literally said to myself, well, I have five minutes. I've never, I had never done this before in my life. I'm like, I have five minutes before I get there. I'm just going to put her in the car and I'm not even going to put on the seatbelt. And as I, I shut the back door, because I, I don't know why, I just didn't put on the seatbelt. Weirdness came through me. I don't know. And it was the first time that I would have ever behaved that way. And then I shut her door and I went to grab the door handle of the driver's seat, the driver's door, right? Because that's what I was going to get in. And the second my hand touched the door handle in a female voice outside my ear and a little bit angry, I heard, put on your seatbelt now. So all I did was, let go of the handle and I was like, Man, there's nobody next to me. What's going on? You know? And I'm like, nah, nah, man. Nah. I'm talking to myself like, nah, you just heard that. Like, okay, screw that. Just, just open the door. The second time I touched the handle, I heard again, put on the seatbelt now. So I let go of the handle and I was like, but things had happened to me in the past. So I wasn't really, I wasn't scared at all, but I was weirded out. So I was like, am I hearing this? Cause I'm hearing it outside my ear, but there's nobody standing next to me. Right. And I'm like, uh, crap. No, no, it can't be. You're not really hearing this. Okay. It, just, just get in the freaking car. still. so I go and I touch the door the third time I was yelled at, put on your seatbelt now, but like, like a mom, like, you know, when your mom has had it and that they've called you to that room three times. And by the third time, you know, you're in trouble. Well, that was exactly, <laughs> exactly how it came across. So I had no choice. I let go of the steering wheel. I'm not, sorry, not the steering wheel. I have the door handle. I open my daughter's door. I clip on her seatbelt. As I'm walking to the front and I go into my car and I put on my seatbelt, I say out loud, okay, I heard you. Bam, click the seatbelt and I get in the car. I start driving. I'm on a country road. Within not more than six or seven minutes, I lose complete control of the car. My car flips on the roof two times, two times. I lose control. I go and I hit a tree and I start going down a ravine. Okay. And my car stops and it lands on its wheels. Okay. So after flipping two times, it lands right back on its wheels. I, during the moment that all this was happening, Ross, this I'll never forget. And this, I know to be a fact and this, anybody can tell me no. And I'll be like, that is your opinion, but I know my truth. In the moment when everything was happening, I know I saw the world upside down two times, okay? My daughter and I did not have a moment of fear, none. There was no screaming in the car. Time stopped. There was no time. It was like nothing. And the only thing that I knew that I felt that I knew to be real was this feeling that the word love does not compare. (laughs) 